Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is on parabolas. So this is uh, module 12-2 and this is part one and we're going to do this in about four, maybe five different parts. So anyways, don't forget all your groovy lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com and our question here is how is the distance formula connected with deriving equations for both vertical and horizontal parabolas? And you're thinking, what? And me too, but we'll unwind it here. So here we go. So a circle, remember in the last uh, lesson, a circle is in the sh uh, is a shape with all the points, all these points, x, y here, x, y here, x, y here, all of these x, y points that are the same distance away from this center point, and this center is called the radius. And so our, our center is h, k with radius r, and so the equation of all these x, y points is x minus h, which is this coordinate here, squared plus y minus k, which is the this coordinate squared equals the radius squared. And we spent a couple days on that, okay? All right, let's talk a little bit more about uh, uh, equations. So a parabola, you guys. Now parabolas, we, d we dealt with these before, um, vertical parabolas, and you didn't know they were called verticals, but we're going to be dealing with horizontals also. But a parabola is the set of all points that are equidistant, which means same distance um, uh, from a line, and our line will be the directrix and a point that's called the focus. And again, you're thinking, huh? All right, here's a picture right here. So here's a parabola right here, okay? And so all of these points, let's pick this point right here. It's equidistant to this fixed point, which is called the focus. So this distance is the same as this distance to a line that's called the directrix right here. Notice this directrix is perpendicular to the y-axis, okay? All right, it's not just the y-axis is perpendicular to, it's perpendicular to the axis of symmetry. We'll talk about that more as we develop more in these lessons right here, okay? So, so this point right here is the same distance to that focus point and the same distance to that directrix. So this distance is equal to this distance. If I picked any distance, if I say I did this distance, this distance right here would be equal whatever that distance is to whatever that distance is. Any one of these points. This point right here is the same distance to that focus point and to that directrix right here. Okay, notice how the vertex is right in the middle of the focus and the directrix. We'll talk more about that in a second. So directrix, we'll just uh, uh, abbreviate them as D and the vertex is V and the focus is F, okay? So here's a horizontal um, uh, parabola. It's going to the left, okay? It's going to the left. We'll talk about why in just a second. But look, this distance to the focus point, which is this point, is the same as the distance to this directrix point right here, okay? This this uh, distance right here is the same as uh, to that focus point as it is to that directrix point. If I pick the point way up here, this distance right there would be the same as it is to the, the line that's called the directrix. All right, let's get a little bit more into the detail about this, okay? All right, so here's characteristics of all parabolas, okay? The V, the V is the vertex. The vertex is always in the middle, okay? Here are the vertex, so it's always the same distance between uh, the directrix and it is to the focus right there. So it's it's halfway of the distance from the directrix, or I'm sorry, from the focus and the directrix, same here. The vertex is right there in the middle. So whatever that distance is, it's that distance also, okay? So the vertex is in the middle. And the distance between the vertex and the focus, so here we are, the vertex and the focus, or the vertex and the directrix, here it is, the vertex and the, and the focus, or the vertex and the directrix, we're going to label that as P, okay? Whatever that distance is, okay? So my last book called it C, okay? Uh, and that, so, but it's P in this book. So the parabola, I like to say, always is protecting the focus. So it always surrounds the focus. It's the focus protector. Okay, so the focus is always inside the parabola. Here, here's the focus. It's inside the parabola. And the directrix is always outside out here. Okay, and so, so the focus and directrix are or on the axis of symmetry, okay? So here's the, uh, did I say directrix? The focus and the, and the vertex are always on the axis of uh, symmetry. This should be V right here, sorry. As you guys get aware, I make mistakes all the time. So the focus 
and vertex are on this axis of symmetry, the AOX, okay? And the directrix right here is always perpendicular to the axis of symmetry. Remember, the axis of symmetry is where I can fold this side. If I can fold the paper right down that, this side would go right on that side. If I can fold the paper right down this x-axis, this side would go right here, or this side would go right here. So the focus and the vertex are always on this axis of symmetry. Okay, I'm going to have to change that right here. All right, uh, let me go back and change this so I'm, I act smart in my uh, class right here. So the focus and vertex. Okay, anyways, and we're going to be dealing with x equals a number. So x equals a number would be this equation of this directrix right here. So x equals a number is a vertical line. So that would be this uh, directrix right here y equals a number is this um, uh, a horizontal line. So when you see y equals a number for the directrix, that's going to tell me it's going to open up or down. Okay, so, all right, so vertical parabolas. Here's a vertical parabola that we've graphed before. So this is in the form of y equals x squared right here. So here is y equals x squared. Do you remember doing this from before? over 1, up 1 squared, over 2, up 2 squared, which is 4, over 3, up 3 squared, which is 9. Same on that side right there. So this is called a vertical um, uh, parabola right here. So vertical parabolas that have center 0, 0, we're going to write them like this, x squared equals 4py. And why, why are we writing it like that? Well, the p is our, is our distance right there between the vertex and the focus right there or the vertex and the directrix right there. That P is that distance right here. So, so when P is positive and it's vertical, it's opening up. So this is what we've learned before. So, so if X is being squared, it opens up or down. It depends on if P is positive or negative. If it's positive, remember, it makes a smiley face. He's a positive guy. And when it's negative, it makes an uh, unhappy face. He's a negative guy, okay? So this is when P is a negative number right here. This distance right here is P. This distance right here is P. Okay, remember, horizontal lines are Y equals a number. So Y would equal uh, whatever P is right here. Okay, and then over here, uh, Y would equal whatever P is right there. Okay, we'll talk more about that in just a second right there. But this, this distance right here is P. This distance right here is P. Okay, this distance is still P and P. So this is when, when it opens down, um, then that means P is negative. And when it opens up, P is positive is positive. Okay, so now here's something new. Oh, I'm sorry. And the axis of symmetry is right here. That's a vertical line. Vertical lines are x equals, so x equals zero. Okay. All right, so horizontal parabolas go like this. Okay, so this is when x equals y squared. So when x equals y squared, Okay, so when I go uh, up one, up is a y, it goes um, square that, that's how much it goes over. Okay, so one squared is one. When I go up two, that's a y, y squared, so two squared is four. Okay, so x equals four. Go down one, negative one is negative one squared is one. Go down one, negative two squared is is 4. Okay, so this is where x equals y squared. All right, so we write these. Look, this looks just like uh, the other one, except y is being squared. Let me go backwards. See here, x is being squared equals 4py. When it's a horizontal one, y is being squared. y squared equals 4px uh, on this one right here. Okay, so when p is positive, it opens to the right, and when p is negative, it opens to the left. Notice this is p this is P. This is the vertex. The vertex is always in the middle. P that way, P that way. And so a vertical line is, is X equals. So X equals whatever P is over here. Here, X equals P. All right, let's try some of these, you guys. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. And the axis of symmetry, the axis of symmetry where it can fold right in half, where this top folds down on the bottom right there, the axis of symmetry is uh, y equals zero. Remember, horizontal lines are y equals a number. Okay. 
Let's try some. Find the equation of the parabola given the f and d and then make a sketch. Okay, so the focus is negative 8, 0 and the director is x equals 8. Okay, x equals the number is a vertical line. Let's graph that, you guys. First, always graph that. So here's negative 8, 0. These are going by 2's, 2, 4, 6, 8. So we'll put the focus right there and then the directrix is over here at x equals 8. Okay, so the directrix is x equals 8 and the focus is right there. Okay, the vertex is always in the middle and the vertex uh, I'm sorry the parabola always surrounds um, uh, the focus right there okay so we know that that's P right there so P is going to be 8 right there and since it opens to the left it's negative right there okay so when it's a horizontal one then it's y is being squared y squared equals 4px okay we know p is equal to um, negative 8 because it's opening to the left so we put in negative 8 and so there's our equation right there and to graph that we just make it go to the left right there we'll get more into the details on that graph in just a bit you guys okay here's another one okay here the focus the focus is at 0 negative 2 so right there and the directrix is at y equals 2 y equals the number is a horizontal line right there okay so this is opening down so it's opening down so x is being squared so x squared equals 4py okay and remember this is p right there p is 2 but in this case it's negative 2 because remember the parabola always surrounds the focus here's the focus it's the focus protector so it's going down so there's our equation uh, x squared equals negative 8y okay and then just make a, a parabola that goes down again we'll get into the details of uh, how wide that is in just a bit so graph the equation identify the focus in the director so here we go so x squared equals negative 16y okay so this is a vertical parabola because x is being squared and since it's negative it's going down okay so p equals negative 4 because this is my 4p right there okay 4py is this right here so when I divide by 4 we get p equals negative 4 okay all right so let's go ahead and uh, we know it's going through this the 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 I'm sorry <laughs> sorry tongue twister the vertex is at 0 0 Okay, we'll deal with uh, when we move it away in the next uh, like couple, two days from now. Okay, and the directrix, here's P. So the P is 4 and the P is 4 and the vertex is always in the middle. And I know the focus goes down here because it's negative right there. And then my parabola goes down. How much does it go down? Well, it goes down if we divided both sides by a negative 16. Do you remember doing this before? Some of you guys are thinking no. That's all right. So, so when we go over one, it goes, um, it goes down one sixteenth of. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to go over four because if I went over one and then did one sixteenth of that, it'd be barely you wouldn't even be able to see it. So I'm going to go over four, four, and then go down uh, one sixteenth of four squared. Okay, and then go over eight and go down one sixteenth of eight squared. Eight squared is sixty four. One sixteenth of that sixteen goes into sixty four four times. Okay, so when we go over four, it goes down one. Well, these are going down by uh, this is 2 right here. Well, I should have propped it down a little bit more right there. And then we go over 8. It's going to go down 4. So there's our, our groovy parabola right there. Okay. All right. So let's try another one. Okay. So here, we let's go ahead and add 6x to both sides. And then since y is being squared, this is in the form of a, uh, a horizontal parabola. And a horizontal parabola is y squared equals 4 px okay so this 4p stuff equals that 6 right there okay so we divide by 4 and we get 3 halves so p is uh, 3 halves okay so it's going horizontal so it's positive 3 halves so these are going by 2 so 3 halves is 1 and a half so there's 1 so there's about 1 and a half so there's the focus right there Go back one, there's one right there, so about one and a half would be the directrix right there, okay? So a directrix is, because uh, I know it's going to the right because it's horizontal because the y is being squared, 
Okay, all right, and then so the focus is at uh, three halves comma zero, and then um, uh, and and if you're in my class, I'm I'm okay if you guys just make a parabola that goes to the right, but for other people like in the in the two plus class, they want to know uh, how how much to the right. So so what I did is I divided both sides by six, and I get this equation. So when I go up and down one, it's going to go over. Uh, one sixth of uh, one squared, but I did three, so up and down three. So here's two, here's three right there. It's going to go one sixth of three squared. So three squared is nine. One sixth of that is uh, nine six, so one and a half. So it's going to go. So uh, there's three over one and a half, right about there. Okay, and then as we go uh, up and down six. So here's a 2, 4, 6. 6 squared is 36. 1 6 of that is uh, 6, so it's going to go that way. Again, if you're in my class, I'm just, uh, I want you to know that's going to the right, okay? All right, so let's try one more and then I'll stop punishing you, okay? Okay, so here we're going to go ahead and add x to both sides and then um, divide by 2 to get it in the form. Here's my 4p right there. So y is being squared horizontal and y is being squared all right so 4p is equals that one half so since it equals one half when we divide by four it's the same as multiplying by one fourth so you get p equal to one eight okay notice how uh, these are uh, going by uh, a half so that's a half that's negative that's one that's a half that's two okay over a half when one over a half that's two Okay, so one half is uh, uh, equal to uh, 0.125. So anyway, so p equals um, uh, one eighth. So if I go over uh, 0.125, remember that's 0.5 right there. So I'm just kind of sort of guesstimating right there that that's uh, one eighth right there. Okay, so so when we go over uh, uh, or up and down one, we're going to go uh, to the right two times one squared right there. And how did I get that right there? I multiply both sides by two. Okay, so uh, up down one, we go to the right two times one squared. Up down two, we go to the right two times two squared. Two, remember doing that right there? I just want you guys to know it's going to the right, okay? So when we do that right there, we're going to get these points right there. And when we graph that, typically when the focus is closer to the vertex, it's, it's, more, it's more narrow right there, all right? All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. It's a, it's a lot of lessons. We're going to spend a couple of days on that and... If you're in our class, uh, we're going to give you that assignment. Take care.